Então só os ossos. Hum. That's, that's pretty tragic. Um... We need to let children be whatever they want to be. What if they want to be conservative? Not that. And I would think Jesus also, I always kind of interpret it, he was asexual to me, right? He never experienced sexual desire to anybody else, so Jesus was probably queer himself. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. He was tempted in that way. Okay, I mean, anyway, but Jesus, <laughs> till then, do you think he would be proud of who you are? Do you and yes, I do hear God well, speak to me. Yeah, God's inside sure me. He's living like inside me. Illness. No. The Bible says that that his people will hear his voice. I like the way this guy conducts himself, his unbothered approach, and you know, that really gets under their skin, as you can tell. Have you ever potentially thought that maybe because of all these people around you, your church has been telling you that this is how it is, that you never even question it. So questions like, maybe I'm kind of crazy because this has been drilled, like drilled in my head over and over for how old are you? You're yeah. probably in your twenties. So you're for like 20-odd You said you were going to stand here and, and you said you were going to let me respond. But you're going to say your piece and walk away. What? You really just can't have your own opinion, can you? This guy was trying to have his say and they're just laughing at him, calling him names, saying he's mentally ill and the things he believes, maybe he's crazy. I mean, that's kind of rich coming from them. If you were to act the same way and say the same things to them, you'd get cancelled pretty quick. And yet again, they say their say and they don't want the answer from the other guy, so they just walk away. We see it every time. Do you think a 12 year old should be able to get a tattoo? No. Do you think a 12 year old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? Yes. And why no to the tattoos and yes to the puberty blockers? I've seen more research about like trans people getting, it's like starting younger than people getting tattoos younger. Okay, what does the research show? I'm actually interested. In, like, I, I genuinely, I just mean like I feel like I've been more exposed to. That sort of stuff. What an idiot! What about looking back over history? You've written the idea that women were oppressed throughout history is an appalling theory. They haven't had a great time though, have they? Who has had a great time in history? But men have had less of a really. Have, time. They? have they? Have they? By what time? standard? By what standard? Well, I'm just saying, if you're a woman, how about women, war? It took, yeah, but it took longer for women to get the vote, and women belong to their husbands. There are inequalities in the catastrophes that the genders are subject to, and so. Look, first of all, we, there's some things we got to get straight. History is a rough business. Everybody had it rough. In 1895, the typical Westerner lived on less than a dollar a day, which is absolute poverty by today's standards. Jordan Peterson always is just too intellectual for these Muppets, man. And this guy, as soon as I heard him speak, you know, just wanted to dish out one of them. I mean, I've got more testosterone in my flipping pinky finger than this guy's whole body. I mean, this is just a spineless little dweeb. He's the sort of guy where his missus would go out and cheat on him, she would come home and he would apologize for it. That's the sort of guy he is. So 100,000 women went on strike today in ISIS to demand gender equality. The entire population is 370,000. So over 25% of the population went on strike. And I have some crazy news for you. The economy did not come to a stop and it continued as normal. The only memo I got was that HR departments were getting no complaints for the 24 hours that the women were on strike. And um, <laughs> men were writing that they were really sorry women didn't get gender equality. But I heard uh, one CEO said it was nice to finally get some shit done, end quote. <laughs> Sensational. They really thought they did something with that one. And listen, equality is always a thing until the check comes. Remember, they only want high quality gender equality. Not a 50-50. If they really did, get them on bricklaying sites, get them in construction work, get them on the front lines of war, get them on oil rigs. But they ain't signing up for those. Do you think genitals define gender? No. Why? You can do, it's your body and your choice and you can do um, whatever you want. So like, what if I wanted to change my race? Is that okay? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. So you really slept with 50 men? No, women as well. 50 men and women? 
Yeah. And so you feel good. You have fun sleeping around with the men and women. Yes, as you have also fun when you're sleeping around with men and women. I've never slept with men. Why you keep saying that? You said something that's not true. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking if it's true. It's I've slept with. with s- Did you know that women who sleep around like that are? S- He's slept also. With- s- so what? He sleeps with men and women. I, he sleeps with men and women. Yeah. Isn't that true, Destiny? I, I guess in your world, yeah, that, that's what I'd be, Jesse. Once you get married, would you continue to do that? Yes. Oh, probably, yeah. Really? That's the dumbest thing you could have said. What, are you an idiot? I really don't get these open relationships. Like, what, what are you achieving by doing that? Letting your missus whap other people is mad. And you got to deal with the consequences of a broken soul. Nah, man. And I can't believe this guy, this guy was online giving advice and is, is, don't listen to a guy who lets his wife get whacked by other dudes, man. And now look, she's divorced him, she's left him for another guy, we predicted it on the channel way back before it even happened. This is what happens when you're a loser. Why do people go to prison? For breaking the law? There you go. The so there's too many people in prison that commit no. too many crimes. Okay. There's other factors that play into crime, fatherlessness and other things. And um, why is that a crime? Why, but, why, is there, why is there fatherlessness? Because we subsidize single motherhood in our country. And we have since the 1960s. Well, so let's ask the question. So let me ask the question. So if people decide to do drugs, whose fault is that? But even if coke is run the city, do you have to use it? The question is, it's there. Oh, and part you, of our decisions so, so, are always rested when the let, material let's conditions play this that out. we're living in. If cocaine was right here and I took it, is it the person who dropped it there or my fault if I Both. took it? I think the question of fault wrong. is wrong. My fault. I believe that people are responsible for their own decisions, not society. Exactly. The point he's making is, no one is responsible for their actions anymore. Accountability is a fading out concept. It really is. People always want to point the finger at this and that and this and that and this person, that person, that thing. When you are a fully grown adult, you should be responsible for the decisions and actions you take. Number one, in a surprise to no one, what's wrong with America? Guns. Y'all are obsessed with your right to bear arms. Here's a concept. I don't give a shit. The feeling is mutual, lady. Why, why do I care about your feelings about our right to bear arms? Guns. I don't like your guns. Well, good. You live in Australia. Stay there. No one asked you. Gotcha. Are you truthfully like here to try to change people's minds or is there kind of a benefit to keeping people divided? How am I dividing people if I ask you if you disagree, you come to the mic? Well, no, I'm just saying it's like you you, you have these like clickbaity titles. It says like, prove me wrong. What is a woman? You're dividing things very black and white. What is a woman is not a clickbaity title. I think it is. What is a woman? I, I, I'm not trying to answer that. Your critics are saying that you're trying to keep people divided. They're urging people not to come talk to you because you're going to spin it. What would you like to say to like your critics? They're welcome to come to the microphone and say whatever they want to me, but they're intellectual cowards and they won't do that. You know how we heal our divides? By talking to people we disagree with. I, I would agree with that. We will get closer to a civil war if we act like that. You heal the country when you allow disagreement and you allow a microphone with people that have differing views. I can't believe it's 2024. And we're asking the youth of today, which are going to be college educated, what is a woman, what is a man, bloody bloody blah, and they won't answer it. They can't answer it. Ten years ago, if if someone had said to me, Sam, in ten years from now, no one's going to answer the question about what is a woman, what is a man. No one's going to answer it, I would say. You're having a laugh, but here we are. Do you think genitals define gender? No. Why? Gender is a societal construct. You could change your mind about anything. You could change your mind about your career, about your hair. Like, it's not serious. What if I wanted to be black? Can I just be black? You can't just assume a different culture, especially considering the um, hierarchies of race. (laughs) Okay. I think
think yeah. anyone who hasn't experienced racism shouldn't say anything about it. Full stop. Five years in a black neighborhood. Happen? I got in a fight every other day for it. Okay, but that's... Because I had red hair that called yeah. me a rooster. I literally got in fights every day. So you got bullied. Mm. That's not racism. Exactly. Oh, it's no, not. It's discrimination based on what it is racism. It's not. exactly what racism is. He wasn't oppressed. We were the ones that oppressed, so you can't call that racism. How are you oppressed? In 2023, how are you oppressed? Because I got news for you, honey. If you had a skill set that was worth something to somebody, you would be the richest f***er in here. I have a lot of young black men that follow me. There's no fucking way on earth I'm going to let them believe that they have a lesser chance than anybody else if they just work their ass off. Bro, we have looking at racism is for broke people. No. <laughs> it's not insulting. You lead with it. Get a new identity. Da -da 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 -da. I'm a black girl. What? You're so much more than that. You're so much more than that. So he was attacked because of his skin color, but remember guys, if it's the other way around, it's not deemed as racist. If you're the white guy getting attacked, you know, and he's completely right about these people just victimizing themselves. They wear the, that identity on their sleeve everywhere they go, and they really limit themselves because they they just victimize themselves in, in every situation. You know, these people never change. You're over here appropriating a space for your own personality. I'm a journalist. You're not a journalist. How do you decide who's a journalist? I mean, considering I was fired as a journalist, you're no journalist. Literally, would you rather be it's your sick of your whole life? You're not doing this for like what the actual conversation is, which is getting rid of this country. Getting rid of this country? Getting rid of America, getting rid of the West. This is what this is for. You want to get rid of America? Yes. Everyone here understands that at some level we need to get rid of America completely. What should we do? Uh, decolonization, land back. Where should we go though? Uh, in our communities. We need to go leave the capitals, leave the, leave the central capitals of commerce, of capital itself. What are you? An idiot sandwich. No, hey, hey, ho, ho, Donald Trump has got to go. Why? Hey, ho, ho. Why? Donald Trump has got to go. Why? Hey, hey. ho, ho, Donald Trump has got to go. Why? Hey, why? Ho, ho, Donald Trump has got to go. Why? Hey, why? Ho, ho. Donald Trump is That's not an go. argument. Hey, hey. That's not ho, an argument. Ho. Donald Trump has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Donald Trump has not to take your race. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Their IQ is very low. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Their IQ is very low. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Their IQ is very low. <laughs> I know I've played this clip in another episode, but it's... I had to play it for the new viewers, I mean that clip always makes me laugh and I had to throw it in at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Have a good day.